you wrote a great column about this. Your column is called Canada is quickly losing its economic advantages. And you, and you mentioned that Canada has traditionally had a highly educated workforce, abundant natural resources, and access to the U.S. market. Frankly, two out of three of those have, uh, one is being killed, the energy industry. Yep. NAFTA mm -hmm. is about to make our access yep. to the U.S. market tougher. Yep, exactly. and, and you mentioned that Stephen Harper brought in low taxes, and that's being undone, too. Tell, tell me, your, expand on your argument. Well, you know, we, we have had, uh, as I said, three traditional uh, underpinnings for our economic success. We have a lot of resources, uh, not just oil and gas, but you know, we have mining and timber and other sorts of, of uh, uh, natural abundance. And that's always been, you know, oh, for years and years and years, the trendy thinkers have said, oh, we don't want to be hewers of wood and drawers of water. Well, actually, there's a lot of money to be made in that, and there's some really good jobs in it. It's not, an e it's not easy to do any of that stuff. You need to have very sophisticated workforces with high minds in finance and law and all sorts of other areas. It's not just uh, people with shovels digging rocks. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that's, that's number one. We have abundant natural resources. We do have the skilled labor and the mental intellect to, to, to deal with all that very effectively. And we've had great access to the U.S. market in one, in one way or another, and particularly since the North American Free Trade Agreement, or even in 88, the Free Trade Agreement just between Canada and the U.S., since 88, we've had really good access to the American market. And because of a bunch of virtue signaling by the prime minister, uh, we're going to lose all of those. We're, we're, we've lost our, our abundant, at least the, the advantage of our abundant natural resources. Thankfully, they're all still there in case someone comes along in the future who's a better economic manager than this prime minister and this government. Uh, they're still there for us to, to, to take advantage of. Uh, but on, on the resource side, uh, they brought in a carbon tax, which has scared off a lot of investment. We're looking at, according to uh, provincial budget numbers and StatsCan numbers, somewhere in the neighborhood of 60 to $100 billion in lost investment. Some of that is, of course, because of the worldwide price decline in oil. But a lot of it has come back to other countries. Yeah. I mean, Kazakhstan, for instance, yeah. has an oil boom going on. The United States has an oil yeah. boom going on. Egypt yeah. has an oil boom going on. And, and despite its location in the world, it's not been known as an oil co country before. Yeah. Lots of countries are seeing tens and hundreds of millions of dollars of, of spending and investment and planned investment, but we are not. That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show, weekdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. Every day I do a monologue, interview a guest, and read my fan mail and my hate mail. To subscribe, go to therebel.media slash shows.